Well, Ty, I, the first thing I want to ask you is what percentage of questions now, pre fight and post fight, do you get that revolve around shoey? Not fighting, but a shoey. 99.9. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, most, most, most questions about the shoey, but yeah, it's good. It's like a little distraction thing. I, are, is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Like, do you like you're no, you're a fighter? You're you're mostly being known for this the shoey thing now. Like, do you, do you mind one way or another? No, I kind of made my bed. I got to lay in it, so <laughs> it's all good. I don't mind it, to be honest. Are you surprised that it ta that it has taken off the way? Oh, you're definitely. Working? I was doing the uh, photo shoot before, and I was doing shoey photos. So, you know, but if that's that's what it is, it's what it is. I love it, so it's all good. Is it as big of a deal in Australia? Because like that's that's where it happens, right? That's where they're doing shoeies. Like maybe in America, like we love it because we're not used to it. But in Australia, is it the same thing? To... No, it's not that much of a big deal. But yeah. now it is. It's it's uh it's really good to see. To be honest, it's good to see the world uh getting amongst it and getting into that party spirit. <laughs> Are you finding a way to monetize it? To to make money off of it. Oh, I've got a shoe vasa coming out next week, so. I've made my own little device. It's for those who don't like drinking out of dirty shoes. So <laughs> everyone can have a shoey now. <laughs> what is a better feeling? The knockout, knocking a guy out, or that, that first cold shoey right after the fight? Oh, they go hand in hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After you knock someone out, you always want a, you always want a nice cold beer. Yeah. Does this, uh, does this fight feel bigger to you because of, the, because of the guy, because of the fact you're going to the hometown? Like, does it feel like a big fight to you? No, oh, I know it's a big fight, but it don't, I don't really feel, uh, I don't really get jitters or I don't get much nerves or anything like that. I'm kind of, uh, I feel like I'm prepared for this. I'm ready for the fight. So I think it's my time. How, what, what was uh, some of the key in preparing for Derek? Like, what did you focus on specifically in this camp with him in mind? Uh, just just the obvious, you know. We know that he's a, he's a big puncher. He loves to... He loves to throw down, similar to myself. So, you know, it's we're, we're, we're pretty same same. So, I think it's going to be an exciting fight, and it's something that really excites me. The fact that I'm either going to get knocked out, or I'm going to knock someone out, it, it excites me. So, it's something I'm looking forward to. Do you want to get into like a, a fire fight with him, or do you feel like you, you you want to bring some strategy into this one because of you know? I've got to be it. smart. Definitely have to be smart. At the end of the day, I want to win. Uh, we get paid to win, so I definitely want to win. Uh, you know, I've got to be a bit smart, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go out there and uh, dive for a leg <laughs> or anything stupid like that. But it's going to be it's going to be fun, and I'm I'm expecting fireworks. So when you when you have a fight like this, like a heavyweight fight, where like you said, one of you, all of us think that one of you is is going down. Like, do you feel like you have a great deal of control over it, or is there some kind of like chance in it, like like? Do you feel like you have a great deal of control over what happens in there? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's it's kind of my fight style and, and his fight style as well. So something we look forward to and something we work for, you know what I mean? It doesn't just, uh, you don't just rock up fight night and it, and, it, and it just happens, you know what I mean? It's it's in us. And uh, I've got a I've got a plan that me and my team have come up with and I think that it's, it's a good plan and I think it's, it's going to be enough to win the fight. You feel like um, this? You win this fight. Obviously, you know your your ranking will will increase significantly. Will you will you prove anything to yourself by winning this fight? Oh, definitely. Uh, I I, it, I prove myself. Uh, you know, I prove little things every day, and uh, I'm very grateful to be where I'm at in life, and 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 grateful to do what I do, and especially do what I love, knocking people out and drinking piss. <laughs> Is the championship on your mind at all this year? Well, everyone's brought it up since doing all these interviews and stuff, but I, I haven't really thought that far. Um, my 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 mindset's on on Saturday, which is a big task in itself. You know what I mean? Derek Lewis is a is the knockout king, so uh, and I'm in his hometown, so that's my first task ahead. And then my second task is get my party on, and then. We'll figure out whatever happens after that. You, do you know him at all, like like personally? No, nah, no, I don't. But I'm sure we'll get along as a, as a, as a, as fellas. Yeah, I'm well, looking forward to the week and looking forward to the fight, man. Thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Cheers.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.